I thought that it'd be cool if I could give a shot at doing those hidden design breads. Oh wow, that was a uh, that was definitely a journey. Made a lot of mistakes. Let's start from the top here. So basically, the uh, whole process of making a hidden design bread is separating out your doughs into different colors and then creating different shapes so you create a 3d shape and then you imagine how it's going to look like when you do a cross section originally i wanted to be super ambitious and i thought of making a kind of peach design I tried matcha powder for the leaf cocoa powder a lighter cocoa powder for the peach color and then i wanted to do darker cocoa powder for the stem but unfortunately it ended up looking like vomit. I realized that I need to do a little bit more research on how to properly make a hidden design and the majority of them honestly used dyes. They didn't really try going with the natural color route and I think that's because unlike noodles it's a lot harder to integrate the dyes because I guess there's a lower water to flour ratios. I was like, all right, uh, if that's what people are doing, then I'm gonna do that. And I I went into a little bit of a rabbit hole. Like there was this one tasty recipe or something like that, taste made. The rainbow breads where you just put it into a bunch of layers and you roll it up, get all of your doughs, mix them together, and then roll them up and then just let it rise. And that's weird to me because with breads, usually you need to have two rises. All of the really cute ones with little teddy bear cross sections or designs, they are usually done by Japanese bakers. There's this one Conel bread and I did find some cookbooks online but they are all in Japanese so I just took a quick look at the sneak preview looked at the images. A lot of recipes use specialized bread pans that have lids on top. I didn't so I think that might have been one of the reasons why it didn't turn out so well. I'm definitely going to be giving this more chances in the future because I think this is it's really just a patience thing. Knowing how to position the bread and how it expands um, and how that might affect your shape. Hope you enjoy my attempt at a, a cute little heart. The base recipe that I'm using is going to just be the kitchen's white bread recipe and then I'm just going to add food colorings and cocoa powders to create the hidden design. If I can do a simple shape, then I think in the future I'm going to try to do something more complex. Let's, let's scale it back. Let's not be too ambitious. I have my yeast with my water and my milk. I use soy milk proofed ready here and then I have my flour and salt and I... <laughs> My microwave is actually broken, so I just melted one tablespoon of butter in like a faux double boiler thing. It is in fact melted. It's going to then add this butter into our proofed yeast mixture. Add some flour to the yeast mixture first to create a slurry. Having this recipe was like crazy because the way that they integrate the flour is <laughs> kind of all over the place. Making my bread. Now we'll dump it in. I'm gonna split the one without food coloring first. Half of that. Oof. We're gonna knead by hand again. Uh, let me see where I can put this for a second. Once again, I could use my stand mixer, but I am. I'm not getting any exercise these days, so I might as well just do the bare minimum and then there's like a extra half cup of flour to use if you really need it but <laughs> need so that's our first one Yep. 
going to set this one to the side for now. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of red cocoa powder. Hopefully some of the chocolate flavor will come through and then some red food coloring too. So even though this is technically red cocoa powder, it's not actually that red. Okay, so need some red food coloring. Let's see how this works. Add a little bit more. Ooh. I think this is gonna definitely gonna take a while. Oh, the red's coming. Blood on my hands. The color is definitely harder to integrate in comparison to the noodles. I tried doing natural colorings at first, but that didn't really work out to my favor. It ended up looking like vomit. It basically was just really splotchy, but this is also splotchy, but like in an aesthetic way, not, it looks like shit. See, other people use like a machine, so it's just a lot easier to integrate the dye evenly but we're doing it old school just so so we can feel something and to exercise yeah okay. i think that that's good heart and I'm gonna let these two rest for about 30 minutes so they can have a little rise time. Especially the red one can relax. Separate them. Voila. See y'all in a bit. And there's a little bit of rise. Red dough first. Basically, I think what I want to do is just make it around the same length. Okay, I think I'll use a little, little strip, put it in between so we get that nice delineation. Worst case scenario, it'll just look like a log, which I'm not mad about either. Okay. Now the only thing is the fact that these recipes you usually use like a lid where you can cover the top so it doesn't expand too much, but because it's a heart, maybe that will uh, work to our advantage. Creating a little burrito. Hmm, I should put the seam, seam on the bottom. There we go. Miss eating hot dog. Ooh, all right. Beautiful log. Settle from right in here. And now we uh, wait for it to rise once more. And I think this rise will be about an hour or so. The boy's growing. Yay, our wonderful loaf. I am actually supposed to wait until it's cool to slice it through, but I am too lazy for that. So I think there's a possibility that I might have underbaked this. Ooh, interesting. You know, it's not really there. It look, kind of looks like a hidden sausage, but it's just bread. So, uh, like kind of like a Pac-Man kind of vibe, like an anglerfish almost. Well, we got the dent in there. Feeling that. <laughs> 
feel all right about that. You can kind of pretend that's a heart. That's kind of cute, actually. I'm not mad. My love for the community that I belong to. I want to do a more complicated design, but I also feel like I need to figure out how to get this right first. But I am glad that I was able to get two colors in there. Oh, I, I just had to squish it a little. This is cheating. Now I know that it's like flat at the bottom, so you kind of have to make your design work. Oh, if it, it, it speaks. It's like a broken heart. <laughs> oh my god, uh, I'm the worst human being in the world. It's like a broken heart emoji, because I didn't do a great job, but we will, we will persist.